Can HIV be transmitted through kissing? There's a lot of misinformation out there, but here's a fact. HIV is not spread through saliva alone, yet many people still worry about this. So what's the real risk? Let's break it down. Welcome back to the channel, where we break down important health topics with facts and science. Today, we're discussing one of the most misunderstood aspects of HIV transmission. Can you get HIV from kissing? With so much misinformation about how HIV spreads, it's essential to separate fact from fear. Whether you're curious, concerned, or just want to be better informed, this video will give you everything you need to know about HIV and kissing. There's a lot of fear and stigma surrounding HIV, especially when it comes to casual contact like kissing. Many people wonder, can you get HIV from saliva? What if your partner has HIV? Does deep kissing increase the risk? These fears often lead to misunderstandings that fuel stigma and misinformation. The truth is, HIV transmission is not as easy as many people think. Let's go deeper into the science and understand what really happens when someone with HIV kisses another person. To understand the risks, we need to break down how HIV is transmitted. How does HIV spread? Anti HIV is transmitted through specific bodily fluids, including blood semen vaginal fluids, breast milk rectal fluids. For transmission to occur, the virus must enter the bloodstream through cuts, mucous membranes, or direct injection. What about saliva? Unlike the fluids mentioned above, saliva does not contain enough HIV to cause an infection. Studies show that even when HIV is present in saliva, the concentration is too low to spread the virus. Saliva actually contains enzymes and proteins that help break down the virus, making transmission through kissing extremely unlikely. Are there any exceptions? There is only one theoretical risk. If both partners have severe gum disease or open wounds in the mouth and blood is exchanged during deep kissing, even then, documented cases of HIV transmission through kissing are virtually non-existent. The risk remains incredibly low compared to other forms of transmission. Now let's look at what the experts say. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, HIV is not spread through casual contact, including kissing, hugging, or sharing food. A landmark study reviewed cases of long-term couples where one partner was HIV positive and the other was HIV negative. The result? Zero cases of HIV transmission through kissing. Additionally, with modern HIV treatments, ART, people with HIV who maintain an undetectable viral load cannot transmit the virus, even through sex, let alone kissing. This means that not only is the risk incredibly low, but for many people living with HIV today, transmission is effectively impossible with proper treatment. To summarize, HIV is not transmitted through saliva. Casual or deep kissing does not pose a significant risk unless blood is involved. Modern HIV treatments allow people to live normal, healthy lives while reducing the risk of transmission to zero. Misinformation about HIV spreads fear and stigma. Understanding the facts helps us build a more informed and supportive world for everyone. Now I want to hear from you. Did this video clear up any misconceptions for you? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to learn more about HIV, sexual health, and other important topics, check out my next video on the most common myths about HIV transmission. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more health insights.